Well, this variant has over 50 uh, mutations and in very significant proteins of the SARS-CoV-2. As such, it needs to be taken seriously and preliminary evidence suggests higher transmissibility and possible potential immune escape uh, that could lead to further uh, surge in cases. Regardless of its severity, increase in cases alone may also uh, pose overwhelming demand on healthcare systems and may lead to increased hospita hospitalizations and death. As it is a relatively new pathogen, WHO is really working hard to engage many technical partners, scientists, researchers to understand the potential impact of this variant to the existing tools and countermeasures that uh, we are using to fight uh, SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19, including vaccines. More information will be available in the coming weeks, if not days. First of all, I would like to clarify that when WHO says public health and social measures, it doesn't mean lockdowns. There, there's too much social and economic cost to lockdowns when uh, there are simple tools that can be applied by individuals, by communities to stop transmission. We recommend a risk-based approach, a scientific approach when implementing uh, control measures uh, such as in reducing exposure, that's why we have test, trace, and treat. Suppressing transmission, that's why we have COVID-appropriate behaviors, which I personally call the three W's. Uh, wearing a mask properly, washing your hands frequently, watching your distance, and the two V's, vaccination, and be in well-ventilated spaces indoors. This reduces transmission of SARS-CoV-2, whatever variant they may be. We have to protect the vulnerable, that's with vaccination and of course, engaging with communities, uh, arming uh, people with the correct information. And of course, reduce severe illness and deaths by having hospitals pr be prepared well to accept uh, severe cases or even um, moderate cases so that they don't progress to severe illnesses and deaths. Well, the testing strategies for any outbreak should be uh, in the context of how the outbreak is evolving. As cases rise, there should be that uh, commensurate increase in testing for uh, possible contacts, close contacts, secondary contacts, so that you're able to contain as much any, uh, any spread of uh, uh, SARS-CoV-2 COVID uh, with, or, with Omicron or, or not, uh, as we have done in the previous uh, waves of uh, COVID. The widely used PCR tests continue to detect the infection, including infection with Omicron, as we have seen with other variants as well. Studies are ongoing to determine whether there is an impact of the other types of tests, such as rapid antigen tests. Several labs have indicated that for one widely used PCR test, one of the three target genes is not detected. This is called the S gene dropout or S gene target failure. This is similar to what we saw with the alpha variant. However, positive side of this is that we can use this PCR test to rapidly identify the likely presence of a new variant and help us prioritize which samples need to be sent for full genome sequencing, uh, including to confirm the new variant. Just to be very clear, the premise here is that we need to protect everyone with those two doses. Those two doses protect people from uh, severe disease and death from COVID-19. As such, that is the key strategy in vaccination during this pandemic. Uh, boosters may have a merit if you are a patient of uh, a, a chronic uh, disease or undergoing chemotherapy where you're immunocompromised. Uh, that is when this booster may be, uh, booster doses may be considered. But uh, to begin with is, is to really get the coverage of vaccines with all, uh, um, all 
populations, uh, especially the most vulnerable. There is no one policy to fit it all. Every country is facing a different epide epidemiological situation and with the transmission drive by different factors, a different driver of hesitancy or low uptake. Uh, the, the coverage of vaccination also is, is something to consider. So this, this, this needs to be calibrated well with the existing facts and evidence. Yes, they do. The approved vaccines are, are effective to prevent uh, severe disease and death. Vaccines remain critical to reducing severe diseases, as, as mentioned, and as we have seen during the Delta uh, wave we had in the country. And um, that's, that's really uh, an, an important piece. And many uh, scientists are working well to cooperate and exchange knowledge to see if th these vaccines that we have are still effective uh, uh, with, uh, with the new variant. India must continue to accelerate the vaccine coverage, especially among priority populations. And that's what the Hargar Dastak campaign is all about, to reach out as much to everyone, uh, house to house, to find out who needs the second dose, who hasn't had the first dose. And more importantly, also implement risk mitigation plans to maintain essential health services and necessary healthcare resources to respond to a potential surge.